Yo, it's Mar VR, and today is PSVR 2 PC Adapter Day. So I'm not gonna lie, guys. I had I went through a lot today, okay? I have the PSVR 2 working on PC, but I do not have an adapter, and here's how. So I found out this morning because I went through the PS the PlayStation Direct, and I'm not gonna lie, this is like one of the worst experiences I've ever had trying to get a newly released product. Honestly, it might might have been almost as bad as getting the PS5. I'm not gonna lie, it was, it was a lot of scalpers going on. We couldn't find a link for where to get the actual product. Some of the stuff sold out at like 2 a.m. this morning, which is insane. But we figured stuff out. So I have an actual PC adapter coming Friday and Monday. So I'm actually gonna give one away next week. So make sure you come back and stay tuned for that giveaway. But back to what I went through this morning. So basically I had to find my old PC, right? And what I found out was that the virtual link works on the 20 series of NVIDIA GPUs and the AMD GPUs that have like the USB-C connector in the back, right? And so I found my 2070 Super. And when I found it, I was so elated because that means that I could actually play my PSVR 2 on PC. Now, I'm gonna warn you guys now, I can't crank up the graphics like I want, but a 2070 Super is still a good card. I'm gonna try it today, cause I had to actually do like a dual PC setup and I'll, hopefully I'm showing B-roll of all this as I'm talking. I had to do a dual PC setup and stream it through my Elgato. So we're gonna play that like today and I'm gonna do a fly first impressions of all that just so you guys what we're working with. Hopefully you guys did get to actually buy your PSVR 2 PC adapters because it's been rough for everybody, especially my people overseas in the UK. But with that being said, let's skip all the hoopla. I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. And then we'll hop into the first impressions. I haven't even tried it yet. I haven't even tried it yet. And so I'm gonna try it with you guys today. All right guys, so we're back now. You're looking at my other PC through this capture here. And so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys how to hook up your controller, start the PC, uh, PC, the PSVR 2 app, and then we'll get into the actual games. I do have Half-Life Alex downloaded. That's gonna be the game we're gonna try out today because honestly, that's kind of like the real tester for PC. I'm just being honest. So with that being said, if you see me turn to my side here, I'm just using my other keyboard because I mean, it's a lot going on on my desk right now. And you might be able to see it when we actually do like the tracking and stuff like that. But all you gotta do is pretty much just download the he has the PlayStation app, which is already on Steam. So if you have Steam, just download it, open it up. And as you see, my PSVR 2 is already connected because I already do have it on and stuff like that. And all you gotta do is just press the button on the PSVR 2, like most of you guys know. So you just go here, you gotta go to get started. And then it's gonna tell you to prepare your controller. So controller pairing is honestly like really easy. And all I had to do was get like a, I, had, I have like a Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter thing in my other PC. Now, make sure you do your research if you're gonna buy one to use with this because they only work on specific ones. I don't know what the list is right now. I honestly just got lucky. So, you know, it is what it is on that. But go ahead and go back over here and go to next. And then all you gotta do is just pair your controller. So like for the left one, you just hold the PS button and then the option button, hold that down. And then at the bottom here, the controller's gonna start blinking. There you go. See it blinking a little bit. There you go. Now the controllers are blinking and now you can go to the Bluetooth settings, which they do give you a nice little anything here. Go to add Bluetooth, add controller, I'll go to Bluetooth, uh, add Bluetooth device, and then go to controller left and right. So I kind of already paired both of them before, so they're already kind of looking for them. I'm just gonna pair both now, because why not? All right, so that's it on that. Honestly, that's the most intensive part of all this. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's a really simple setup. Like surprisingly simple. Usually Sony kind of overcomplicates these type of things, but they didn't do it this time. So you can connect your stereo earphones, but honestly I have a headset, so I didn't do that. Put your headset and controllers down within easy reach. Boom, make sure the PSVR 2 is turned on. And if you're new to PSVR 2, it's that bottom button under there. Press that and then the light should turn from red to white. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting, man. I'm honestly really excited to see how this looks because I have no idea. All right, so now this is the part I haven't got to yet. So I think it's about time for us to put on our PSVR 2. About that time. Go to function button, look at the sub. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now oh, they're just telling you how to put everything on. Uh, personally, I can just skip all this. Make sure you actually pay attention to this. Renew this headset because uh, it can be a little confusing. So now we're at the point we put on our headset, which is what I've been waiting on. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put the headset on, the glasses off. PSVR 2 is huge, so I can put it on like this. Press the button. It's a little shaky. Uh, I don't know why. Might be because of the lighting in here. Uh, lens distance. Yeah, it's lagging real bad. Dude, come on, let's skip it. Boom. Oh, oh. Oh, it's lagging. Oh my God, it's lagging so bad. Is that smooth on the PC? Not, wow. Oh my God, yeah, that's, that's starting to make me sick. Okay. All right, guys, we are back. So big tip for people who are having glitching, if you're kind of plugging in with a PSVR 2 to like a RTX 2070, make sure you turn off motion smoothing on Steam. That was killing my performance. It was very glitchy. We finally got somewhere, Jesus Christ. And ignore my messy desk because honestly guys it's been a long day and I, I just i just can't but we're gonna go ahead get in so we're actually in now back up some select basically just go through the setup stuff i mean it's the same old same old y'all let's see move around so it doesn't have the like scan oh but that's already low okay before height um, I'm gonna do this quick because I just I really just want to get into the game. I'm so excited. I just actually you guys my PC now. Look, this is the PC behind me. That's why I can't stand up. <laughs> yeah, so got a lot going on. Okay, we're in. Oh my god, I'm a Steam. I'm in Steam VR on a PSVR too. What? Whoa, whoa, I'm not going to lie, this answered so many of my questions about the PSVR 2 lenses. This is amazing, brother, bro, you can see, you can see some of the mirror, kind of though, it's not like a lot of it, wow. I always wonder if the PS5 was the reason that you see so much mirror when you go through the PSVR 2. But now that I'm on PC, I don't even see any of it. I barely see it. Like I, if I if I have to focus in on it to see it, which is good. Let's, let's get into Half-Life Alex. I, I wanna I wanna I need a game. I need I need a game like right now. Alright guys, we are back. So we're back in the headset now. Now I have way more room to actually do things. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to my game. We're gonna pick a chapter, just like hop in there, really. Wow, bro. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not gonna lie, this looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie, guys, as somebody who's been playing VR for so long, there's few things where it really impress me nowadays. But this is this is it like this looks amazing like i'm honestly amazed by how good this looks and it's crazy because the resolution is lower than a lot of my other headsets i will be honest but in terms of just pure fov colors and everything else this is hidden like wow like that is insane. I've never seen like this look like this. I think the closest I can I think this looks to is the Quest Pro with the um virtual desktop with the color stuff on with the color balloon effects and stuff on. This looks amazing. And, and HDR isn't even on. That's the crazy part. We don't even have HDR. Oh, there's people down there. We don't even have HDR on. This is all just like off the shrimp of the PSVR 2. This looks good. I I, I co-signed it. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I haven't even got deep into gameplay and stuff, but it looks really good. Like I'm I'm impressed. Ah. This is impressive. I love breaking stuff. This is it's just a Mario Dude check of approval, man. I'm not gonna lie. Because even like the, the quests, which I don't know why I'm writing like this, the quests and then to the PSVR. 
I don't try to draw the PSVR with the with looseness right there. Yeah, that looks about it, right? PSVR. So like even the quest to the PSVR, the the real big difference I can say right now is that with the PSVR two, you still see a little bit of Mira, but I don't know if it gets better or worse or or gets better as you go up in like resolution and graphic quality, right? Now, like p people say, it's just the lenses, but this looks substantially better than my PS5. Like this looks better on my PC on this 2070 Super than my legit PS5. I don't know if I'm tripping, but like I barely notice a lot of the mirror. Like I don't see a lot of it. Um, so I can't wait till Friday so I can really test out if the mirror is. If it stays, if, if I can still really notice it. Because as of right now, this is no latency. Like, I'm moving around. I'm good. Because I can tell when there's latency, trust me. I've, I've been playing so long. i played on so many different headsets. I can really tell. But as of right now, the controllers feel great. You still feel a, little, a good bit of the rumble. Rumble's good. Um, in terms of settings, you don't get a crazy amount. But if Sony continues to update this over time, man, this could be something really special. But for people who are looking for someone to play like VR chat, play shooters, this is going to be it. I'm actually going to skip to another chapter with guns because I want to see something. Let's see, let's go back to main media. This is amazing, man. Like, the fact this works is... Man, you know, it's, and it sucks. I really wish they would have dropped this day one for the PSVR 2, man. I feel like a lot of the pain that's been going on with this headset for like the past like few months would have been totally different so what i'm gonna do is now i'm gonna go to a different level that has um a little, a little bit darker a little bit darker level but i want to see how like the blacks and stuff look with, with this headset but that's really what appears for our two shines is the light levels the darkness is the contrast of, of different colors and, and brightness levels but honestly, I want to, I think I might make a video where I go back and play like RE4 NVR or RE7 NVR and compare my experiences. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Bro, I haven't played. Bro, the colors is crazy. Whoa. Bro. Ooh, the colors, man. It, and it's crazy because it's lower resolution, but it does not feel like it. Because it's so much FOV. Like, I can see, like, here. If I was, like, on the big screen beyond it, obviously, it'd be a lot smaller. It'd be high resolution, yeah, but this is solid. This is so solid. This is the highest, this is the best FOV. I've had in the headset. This is what I've been looking for. Yeah, this is this is it. This might be it for me. I think this and the big screen beyond are gonna be my go-tos. This is it. Wow. I, I ain't gonna lie, my aim did not get any better. PSVR, I wish it. Yeah. And bam. Yeah. Yeah, this looks amazing. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie. This looks actually amazing. Only thing I'm worried about is the updates, the continued support for this on PC. But I think as of right now, I think modders could really do some work. I think OpenXR could probably be updated. We can probably get eye tracking and stuff like that. And then see if we can really crank out some stuff for this headset. I wanna try the, the IVRY. Um, where is it? Oh wow, bro! Whoa, Russell! Forge just took out I'm not gonna lie. I think a lot of this is gonna blow a lot of y'all minds, bro. I'm telling you now. Oh, that looked crazy. Oh, that looked crazy. That looks insane. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to get this on the 4090, bro. I need the 4090. Like, I need that work. I'm not gonna lie. I need that. Highly require that right now. 
that, man. They need to start, they need to make a second game of this, bro. Stop playing. But, yeah, let me pause for a second. I genuinely think they, they got to keep supporting this, man. They got to keep supporting this. This, this is peak. This is actual peak. I'm, I'm, I'm just shook right now. Because I didn't, I was, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of expected Sony to fuck this up. I'm not gonna lie. I'm respectfully, 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 Sony. Ain't like y'all. Y'all haven't been proved me right a lot re recently. But this is good. This is good. There's no latency. Like it's not being streamed. I was thank God it's not a streaming solution. But it's, I'm yapping now because I'm just excited. But um, yeah. Nah. For 350, you can't beat this, bro. You can't beat this for 350. The price is definitely worth this headset, bro. I, I refuse to believe. That somebody can convince me this is not worth 350. This looks better than most headsets that I've, 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 I've had. I would say, oh y'all, oh they're gonna kill me for this, but this looks better than my Valve Index, hands down. There's no glare, like there's no glare, and I think I haven't had a PC VR experience with no glare in so long that it's like blowing my mind. Like colors plus no glare, it's just amazing. Y'all have to go get a PSVR when it goes back on sale. Get it for three fifty because you can't beat this, bro. You cannot beat this. There's no, there's nothing out there's nothing out right now that can beat what I'm looking at. Hands down, five hundred for a Quest is good. Don't get me wrong, the Quest Three is still a good PC VR headset. But the thing is, the Quest has latency. Me, I don't want any latency. I want like that native PC VR experience, and this is it. 350 plus 50, 60 for the adapter, or 350 plus, you know, if you got a 2070, a 20 series card, get you a 2090 and you could be good. This is it. Or AMD card, you're good. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this is it. This is it, y'all. This is it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave this here. Um, I'm going to stream this probably tomorrow. You're going to see this video Wednesday, day one. I'm going to stream this tomorrow. And I want to play more games because right now I'm I'm sold, man. I'm sold. Or no, I'll stream it Friday. Friday I'm gonna stream it because I actually had an adapter. Uh, I want to stream it with the 4090 because this this needs like the 4090, like hands down. Yeah, this this is it. I I'm so impressed. All right, Sony, y'all got a W, man. This this is a PC VR headset now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is crazy, bro. I, I just keep looking around. Wow. Like I don't even I don't even see much mirror or anything. Wow. Yeah. I might stream my PSVR from now on, bro. Yeah. I I, I really wish I can get my Valve Index controllers working with this, because <laughs> that would be like the peak setup for me, man. But I don't think they're gonna do that because they want you to buy the controllers too, but. I know they're just floating up there. Weird. All right, but anyway, um, yeah, as people mark do VR, man, get a PSVR two today and try it with a PC because you will not be disappointed. Um, make sure you go to VR.com, get your prescription lenses for your PSVR two. Don't come to PC VR blind. That's the motto. Don't be blind to PC VR because you don't want to miss any details in this thing. All right. <laughs> Remember, I'm just doing a VR headset. Peace.